Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Zoo. So we're here again on the cheetah exhibit, and um, we're going to finish it today. I am determined. So we're going to put in some cheetahs already. We're going to we're going to put them in um, position or whatever. Um, so yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's put them in. Right, install. So where should we put these? I think we're only going to have about two or three of them. I think we're not going to have many, but I think we're going to go with a similar kind of thing here, but we're going to make them longer bodied. Uh, I've already got the head there. This one's going to be... That's the one, cheetah skin. Cheetah skin. There we go, and that's all that's going to be. <laughs> they look so derp. They don't even look right at all, do they? They don't look like cheetahs. Uh, we're going to have another one over here, then. There. Uh, oops, not like that, though. I'm like bigger. Don't want them like the wolves. I'm big size. I just wish I had slabs of these now. Or, or there was just a way just to, just to have full slabs. Just gonna have one up there, one there. One's running through the the thing, and the other one I can have right up front. I don't get the other way actually. It's all over here. And there, there, bang, bang, and that right there. And that's at least going to give us some cheetahs. So we've got three cheetahs in total. That's quite a lot. So that's pretty good. You can see them from here. With the dirt faces. Um, so yeah, the wall's looking pretty good. It's just using the iron bars. And just this is, you know, moved in one. Pretty simple though. Um, obviously something not everybody can do at all, really, unless you've got my texture pack and Optifine and 1.7 and all this kind of stuff, but uh, I mean, this gives you an idea. You could always do that with normal blocks and you just have slabs on top and then you just move them out with another slab. Uh, that's pretty easy. But anyway, we are going to make some acacia wood trees because everywhere has acacia wood trees. So that's, that's the thing. That one, and we have that one. So here we go. This will have like a tree over here. Oops, there we go. Get that one. Get an angle or something. I'm just there. And I'll just put some acacia wood leaves on it. There, like this. I like making custom trees for each exhibit because it just because it's so much more personality. That one is really bad, <laughs> but it still does. Right, okay. So this one's going to be a lot bigger. There. Go over to there. This one go over to here. I'm not even really bothered about the uh, directions of these to be honest. We got birchwood on this one. There. Let's move that across. Put that on top. Join these up. And up here as well. And this one as well. Oh, there we go. Like that. Uh, I guess it's a kind of tree, doesn't it? That's what we really needed. Uh, the shelter itself. All right, okay, the shelter. How am I going to do this one? I think I'm just going to do it with normal wood. You know, just oak wood. And some slabs or something. We're just going to have, like, in the back corner here. That's going to be it. You know, really, really simple. I'll do that and then have just slabs here. Uh, slabs there. Two lots of slabs there and then up here, two lots of slabs. The simplest you can really get, isn't it? But that at least, you know, works. That will give them a nice little shelter in there. Don't really need to detail it too much either. Just don't need to. And then this one can also have a tree up here. And here. So I'm going to move that. Put in these. 
this. There we go. There. And one over here as well. That's just going to be so many bloody trees in the end. That's part of it. I'm making it look good, I think, is the trees. There you go, those. Yeah, that's right. Just wonder about variation if I've got enough of these. Like to variate it properly. I do. It's good. There you go. Okay, so those are the more main trees that I need. Oh, I'm in with the meerkats. I think so. Those are the main trees. Maybe another one. Maybe just do have another one right in on this rock or something, or behind this rock. Uh, think forward to this rock. Have a nice quite big one. One over there maybe. One there and one there as well. And this one's gonna be like the dark oak type one I think. So it'll be similar to the ones that um that Nick did for me. Quite a while ago. It's been a really long time ago, actually. It's months and months and months. It's weird. It's weird when one of these series is goes on goes on for quite a while because you don't realise how much time has actually gone into it. Uh, I mean, it's well worth it, I think. And when it's done, and it will be done, don't worry. This will. It won't be a never-ending series. I know it's gone quite long. I don't know what we're on now. I've said thirty odd, thirty or forty or something like that. But it will be done. It will be something that does get finished. Uh, and it will look awesome in the city. It's going to be something that's unique to uh, to everything. There we go. That works. Okay. Now let's grab a load more leaves. The ones we haven't used are oak wood, spruce. Don't really want to use those though. I've uh, got some jungle wood. I haven't really used the dark oak, so we're going to put a couple of those around. Just like small amounts of them, even if they're on just like the rock or something like that, or. We can have some dark ones here actually, spruce, jungle, up there, we can also get some, uh, some dark oaks over here, and like the, okay, now we've got some more spruce around this bit, jungle over here, just to spam this area up, and some dark oak, right here, I'll do. I think we just need a little bit more around here, just a small colour. Probably the jungle ones would do well. Yeah, so if we get that more in here, pull it down. And yeah. And that then just spam this back wall as well. So it's actually got something because at the minute it doesn't really. Maybe even. We have this weird little <laughs> little plant thing coming off the side of it. Like that. Maybe that's what it needed. Just every so often, one of these. Good now. There we go. So that's looking good. Right. Now what we'll do is we'll grab grass, we'll grab ferns, we'll grab some long grass as well. That's quite important. I'm also going to grab the dead dead ones, the shrubs. Not that one, not that one, that one. Shrub. Small shrub. Okay, so let's just shrub this up. There we go. Good. As well, got a lot of shrubs so far. Like that and uh, grass. There we go. 
Be a little bit heavy with the grass at least. Get on the zebra trail as well. Up here. And there, around these bits. There you go, this is starting to look better already. I know it just looks like I'm just spamming it, and that's because I am. But I'm just trying to spam it in uh, areas that I think it needs, maybe. Why well, I'm just spamming it, I don't really know anymore. <laughs> it's, it's a difficult thing, because I'm not using bone meal. I don't really want to use bone meal, because you don't get a like, natural feel for anything. There we go. Alright, okay, double tall grass. Bang, one there, one there. This area is some crap. There you go. Now let's have a look at it. Yeah, that looks a lot better. See, that looks really cool. Look, cheetahs. I know the cheetahs don't look great, right? <laughs> you have to tell me. Um, but they still look kind of cool. Yeah, they look fine. So we get that in there, and we'll have, um, we've got natural water over there, but we'll still have a couple here. And tap, with taps on them. So those taps can actually run and fill it up in that trough, and uh, obviously they'll be fed by the keepers. And that reminds me, where the hell do the keepers come out of? I think back here. Have a gate for them. I know it's all the way around there, but it's not really... unless we... oh no, let's have it there. It's much more sense. Right, let's kill that one. There we go. We'll have it on this side here. Little side gate. So I got that there, and I can just walk around here. And there as well. And that makes sense. I mean, that is looking pretty cool, I think. I'm pretty happy with all of this so far. I think the, uh, the park's looking really good. That is actually looking really good as a unit now. That it's all stuck together. Um, it looks a lot, lot better. But there we go, guys. We are started to get there. I mean, we've obviously... <laughs> that first exhibit, the savannah, kind of like really, really safari. Safari one, I think I call it. Safari one is just so huge that it dwarfs everything else. But it's looking really good. So I need to, you know, curve out this and get that around there. I need to finish, obviously, finish up the parking at some point. Um, I still think this baboon one looks awesome. Colour-wise, it does anyway. Anyway, yeah, that's just me getting distracted. So yeah, it's all looking really cool so far, guys. I don't know what we'll be doing next. I'll be having a look at the list. It could be the desert animals in the corner. Um, even though we start moving downwards, we need to also do this area here. So we do need to do that on camera. And then we can do some smaller animals, I think, around here. Possibly the monkeys. Could have the monkeys all around this bit, because it's a capuchin area. Uh, obviously we've got the baboons over there, but, you know, the other ones like, I don't know, chimpanzees and uh, that kind of stuff will be good. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.